So today's video is going to be kind of a, like a get ready with me, but a chatty get ready with me. Because I haven't done one of these. I only did voiceovers or, you know, just plan get ready with me. So I figured I would do a chatty and just talk to y'all a little bit about what's going on in my life. And uh, this is going to be a date night get ready with me. And it's in collaboration with Shannon K. Shannon K is a fellow YouTuber and she does like awesome videos. Like she has waist training videos, like her uh, results from waist training. And she does like hair videos, you know, like she does ex extensions and like reviews and stuff like that. So she is doing the other part of this video. She is going to film um, a date night look for the hair, for, you know, a hairstyle that you can do. I'm gonna do the makeup part. I'm so excited to be collabing with her. I feel very blessed and fortunate to do it with her. She's an awesome girl, so sweet. And when I asked her if she wanted to collab, she was like, yeah girl, and I was like, yes, I love that. So I'm so excited to be doing this with her. This is gonna be kind of like a date night look, summer date night look. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna be chatting with y'all and getting ready while I do it. I just put my moisturizer on and I use the Karen and Rose hydrating cream. Um, it smells amazing and it's vegan, GMO free, gluten free. <laughs> so it doesn't get any better than that. Whenever you put your moisturizer on, sorry my hair is not looking very, I haven't got there yet, okay? But you don't need me for hair, so. But um, yes, so you wanna let your moisturizer stick and absorb in your skin. And I have oily skin, so you wouldn't think that I would wanna put moisturizer on because it you think that it make my skin more oily? And I used to think that too, but no, not anymore. I mean, I feel like you have to have moisturizer because you do have dry patches, even if your skin is really oily like mine, and mine is really oily. The sun just came out, so I have better lighting now, and it'll go down in a minute, of course. But anyways, um, yes, so it's very important to have moisturizer. And so while that's setting in, um, Get ready to put my primer on. <laughs> and I use this Matchbox Photo Finish Color Correcting Lens, and it just helps correct some of my dark spots on my face. So once this moisturizer gets dry and set in the skin, then I'll go into my primer for my primer on. So now I'm putting on my primer, as you can see, as I just said. <laughs> And just like the moisturizer, you're going to let the primer set. And when I usually, I usually do this, and I usually um, brush my teeth or something. And I'm gonna brush my teeth and get my beauty blender ready, but you'll never know it because I'll skip this part. But yes, that's what you do. You need to let it set in. And okay, so now that that has, you know, got in my skin, I'm gonna move on to concealer. And today I'm just using the Milani. Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1, and I am in the shade tan. So, yeah, I just take my finger and I just dot it all over my skin. And I, I mean, you might think this is a lot of makeup, and it might be a lot of makeup, but I mean, I have a lot of blemishes to cover up, so. And this is definitely a full coverage foundation, blendable. I mean, not blendable, buildable. So, and I'm just using a foundation brush from Avon to spread it all across my face. And I always go in down, well, I think I always go in down towards motions. I just go out, you know, spread it across. Like, I'm not a makeup artist or whatever. I just love to do makeup. And this is what works for me. You know, everybody's different. So, that's what I'm doing. But I don't know what to talk to you guys about. I don't have a lot going on. I'm going to Relay for Life today. So, I'm really not going on a date night. But, you know, that's all right. I would still definitely wear this look on a date night. But, I didn't really plan on shooting this look today, but a lot of people that do like 
makeup and tutorials. They have tons of makeup, so they can do it at nighttime and just take it right off. Mama, mama don't have all that. My man's average, so I have to do it as I'm going to go out. You know, I have to use the makeup that I'm going to use. I can't just do it and take it off. I mean, hopefully one day I will reach that point. I hope, but not today, Daddy. Not today. But yeah, I'm going to relay for life, and I'm very, I'm a proud supporter of relay for life. I don't know if some of you knew or know that my younger sister had um, cancer. She had Hodgkin's lymphoma. And she is, um, what's the word? In remission. So, yes. But I'm definitely a very big supporter of <clears throat> Relay for Life. This video is going to be very long. I'm going to try to talk so much that way I can speed it up some. But. So the next thing I'm going to do is set some of this foundation with a MAC Studio Fix um, powder. I'm in the color NW44. I just set like around my jawline and my neck because when you set the foundation, it helps last longer. So that's what I do. That's what I do. But I'm going to do my eyes first. I meant to not even put foundation on because my eyes could get messy. So, first thing we're gonna do is apply some Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. But, I don't know if y'all have seen any good movies here lately. I'm not a big movie person. I don't really like to watch movies. Like, I'll watch movies on TV. Because TV is my hobby, like for real guys, it's my hobby. So I watch movies on TV, but not really. I don't really, sometimes I go to the movies. We rarely go to the movies, but Ryan loves to get Netflix and I'm, I don't care to. Unless it's a happy, funny movie, but he likes action movies and stuff like that. And I'm like, I like some actions, but I'm not a suspense person. My anxiety will not let me be a suspense person. So, but yeah, so I just put that on there. And then I'm going to just go over it with just like a white powder. I don't really know why I'm doing this, but just doing that, just to set that. Because I'm gonna put another eyeshadow base, but I like to get that down. I'm gonna use this NYX eyeshadow base and it's in the white pearl. You might saw it on my um, haul I did or a video. One of my first vlogs that I did, I bought on accident. But it's just gonna, like, cause I have darker skin. It's just gonna make my eyeshadow pop more. And stick better. So now I'm gonna apply some Cocoa Bear in my crease. Cocoa Bear is by Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek, yes. It's one of the favorites. It's a very good crease shade. I'm just putting it in my crease just to get me started. I, you, you'll probably see that I use this shade a lot. It just gets me started, so. I'm going to use the color, I'm gonna use the, the eyeshadow um, from ColourPop and it's the color Porter. And I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. going to go in with my finger because you just get so much more pigment see <laughs> with with your finger I'll just do that just to you know get it on there and then I'll just do this too um new to this whole YouTube thing I've been doing it for about a um, two months maybe two months yes and it is a job I have videos all the time but I really enjoy doing it. I love everyone's feedback. I mean, that's what makes it worth it, having everyone's feedback because, you know, when you don't get any feedback or you get negative feedback, it's very discouraging. And I have had very discouraging moments, like, is this gonna be worth it, should I do this? But 
I'm, I'm glad that I'm doing it. I'm really glad that I'm doing it because it's fun, you know? It's fun putting your stuff out there sometimes. It's definitely out of your comfort zone. And this is definitely out of my comfort zone. I'm just applying a little bit more up to my crease. The next thing we're gonna do is apply a little bit of the Makeup Geek Insomnia. And I used this in my last tutorial, but it's such a pretty color, especially for summer. And I'm only gonna apply it, apply it on the center of the lid. But mom, I forgot. Bear. Just blend all this out up here. Blend in that out. And you never want any harsh lines. I don't know if that used to be the style. But trust me ladies, not anymore. So now we're going to do some eyelashes. So I always blow on the glue that I put on. I'm using Duro, the Duo Adhesive Glue Dark Tone. And these eyelashes are just eyelashes I got off like the internet, you know? From like, they're like the fake mink, the faux mink lashes. So yeah, you just do that. Easier said than done. This eye is always my easy eye. Oh no, no, too much. This eye is usually my easy eye. Still. Ah, uh, she's finished. With not with 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 a bunch of trouble though. A bunch of trouble. So now I'm gonna apply some eyeliner just to cover up that lash band. And I'm using the Double Ego Pure by Pure Mineral. Pure Minerals, and it's two sided. One's like a liquid, and one's like a pencil, which is awesome. Okay. So now I'm going to move on to the rest of my face while that glue is drying up there. Now I did get a fallout, so I'm going to try to take that away with just the brush, which is why I don't help. But I'm going to try to make it happen. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Apply some concealer, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the Bye Bye Under Eye by it, by It Cosmetics, and the color I have is tan. And this is very pigmented, so I'm not gonna apply a much. And I'm apply just a little up here, down there, out there, and not much because it's very pigmented. And I'm using a red, a wet Real Techniques blender. See. To, uh, blend that all out. So, now I'm going to take some setting powder and I use the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm just going to take a little bit a little bit and just dab it on there all over on both sides just a little bit right now so I can get in there when you set your concealer it prevents um, creasing you know you, you know how you get the foundation in your creases yes and this way, I learned from Jaclyn Hill, it makes your skin look porcelain, and it really does. So, I'm gonna apply a lot more. This is called baking. 
if you didn't know, I'm sure you did. Everybody knows. I mean, you know, most people, some people. But anyway, and I'm just applying a thick layer of it to my under eye area, and I'm just going to let that bake there. And so I'm going to just not forget my other areas and just take a brush. And this is like an elf stippling brush and I'm just applying that to the other areas that I I put that concealer. Okay? So now we're going to contour. And I'm using a makeup makeup gate um, contour pan. And this is half hard. It's a warm medium. But you just apply it like I apply it like right here, like you hear my, you see my ear right there. I do that, you know, classic fish face. It's like magic powder, makes you skinnier. And then I apply it around my hairline. You wanna make sure you don't get it in any area that you highlight it. So I'm just applying it around my, um, Hairline and just blending it like into my hair basically. See? And it makes your, it makes like, my head's kind of big, so it makes it, it helps, you know, it makes it kind of smaller, so it's nice. And also, after I did that, I'm going to take that setting powder again and I'm going to make that um, contour line razor sharp. And all it does is just clean, it cleans up that contour line, you know, because we can all be messy sometimes. So that just, this doing this helps clean up that contour line and make it cut you sharp. You know what I'm seeing? <laughs> uh, I hope this video turns out good. <laughs> Cause I'm rushing. I have to be at the relay in 40 minutes and I haven't been in my hair yet. Okay, so. While this is going on, I'm going to contour my nose because my nose needs contouring. So. And I just, okay, so to contour, basically, I just take, I'm using this, this middle shade from um, this Rimmel palette and it's the contour sculpture so and I just like start here and go down it's where you want your contour to be and then the other side I do the same and then I'll take it down there see and of course you have to blend it in blend 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 I mean, you don't want to completely take it away, but you don't want to be having the dark lines on your nose. You know what I mean? Pretty much. I'm going to remove this um, powder. Sit on it. Look, just, look, just, look, just look at my skin. Just look at it. Look how porcelain my skin looks. I mean, it looks like, it looks like porcelain. Yeah, it looks so smooth. Man, I'm not bragging on my skin or anything. Cause my skin is definitely less than perfect. But you know, that's what makeup's for. We can slay the same with the makeup. You might not look good without it. Well, we're gonna look good with it, okay? Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to apply some blush. And today, I'm going to use this Makeup Geek blush. It's one of the blushes that I got in my BoxyCharm in the colors XOXO. And it is such a pretty subtle pink. And I just, I used it the other day and I was like, oh, I love that. It's just a pretty subtle pink. It does not take much to use. We're going to use the Gerard Cosmetics Highlight in Lucy. Look how beautiful that color is. Yes, girl, slay the thing. Okay. I'm getting annoying. Okay, so I turn on brush, and we're just going to apply that on the cheeks. 
on the high points of the cheek. And you can apply as, as much or as little as you like on the tip of the nose, on your cupid's bow. You can apply a little bit up here above the eyebrows to bring them up a little bit. Now I'm going to take my stippling brush again and take this off. Take all that off. Some eyeliner and I'm going to apply some um, turquoise eyeliner and this is NYC and it's supposed to be waterproof hydro fudge. So for lips, you're just going to apply a mauve nude lip. Just something simple. And this is the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil. This is Mystic. Just something nude. You guys enjoyed this and hope you guys enjoyed this enjoy this look and I hope you learned a little something and if you didn't I'm sorry maybe next time and if you did learn something awesome if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe below and don't forget to look in the description box it's right down here and check out Shannon K the link is in the description box she's awesome and she has the hair part to this so you need your hair when you do your makeup duh so yes don't forget to check her out. She's awesome. Thank you guys for supporting me and supporting this channel. And I appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.